construction of a regular octagon. A regular octagon that is eight sided figure and this stop sign is a good example for uh, this regular octagon. Now if you want to draw this figure, if you want to draw given the side length, how do you do that? So there are some construction steps and uh, how those construction steps and regarding further details what is the proof i'll explain in a different video but today let us just look at the process of construction of a regular octagon so first step we have to draw a line segment eb you'll draw a line segment then you will divide that into two equal parts so that is done by drawing a perpendicular bisector and uh, like it is given here, this is A, A, B is the given side, call M as the midpoint. Then we have to locate a point N. This is the point N such that A, M and N, M are same. And again, after that, locate a point O here on this circle, I mean perpendicular bisector from there you are going to draw a circle. That's all the circle you'll get. And then divide that circle into eight equal parts. So we'll see this by drawing it on a GeoGebra software. And uh, I'll also show it on the regular compass and using a, a compass and ruler that in the next video I'm going to do it. But now, right now, let us do it by making use of this uh, software. So in the first step, given line segment, that is, let me take that one is here, draw one line segment of any size, a convenient size, let us say. This is a line segment we have. Now, you have to complete an octagon with reference to this one, okay. Now, the first step, I'll draw a perpendicular bisector between these two points, right? This is your perpendicular bisector. Okay, I'll locate the midpoint also for that perpendicular bisector. This is, so it's exactly dividing this given line segment AB into two parts. Now, I have to locate a point on this perpendicular bisector whose length is equal to half of this side AB. So, I can do it by drawing a semicircle between these two points. So, now I got a point there. That point is, okay, now this length from the point M to this point N is same as this point A to M. So you have this condition satisfied, A, M and M are equal and I will also join this N to A now and uh, I am going to locate a point O here on this perpendicular bisector where the length from O to N is equal to A to N. So again, I can do it by drawing a circle with a radius a n and the center at n. So this is the center at n i naught. And this is the point O. That point over here, look at and that is your O. Now I'll connect O to A. O and A is connected and this OA is the radius of a new circle that we are going to draw. Let us draw with this as a radius. OA is a radius and you got a circle. Now on this circle, on this big circle, we have to draw eight congruent arcs. And the measure of each arc is equal to the measure of this arc AB. Alright. So, again, we can do this by drawing those uh, 
arcs arc directly i cannot get it from this and best way is just to draw circles with this radius of how much a to b okay so all right so this is the measure i need so from a to b and uh, this is the point you got now a b from this point to that it is exactly same and now that new point that is your point c in fact then you got d then you will have e then f exactly there then g this is my g h and then of course this is a okay i have to start from there to here right and now connect all these points so that you will get the required octagon right a to b you got now from b to c c to d d to e e to f f to g g to h hold on yeah this is a b c d e f g h that is your regular octagon the blue figure the blue one that is your regular octagon i will let me also fill it in just uh, yeah this is the one i'm looking for eight sides so this is the regular octagon so the steps of constructions like i showed these are all the steps that we followed and uh, you came up with uh, an octagon so this is done by making use of that software geogebra and uh, in my next video i'm going to show you by actually constructing by making use of uh, a ruler and compass so please try and uh, thank you thanks for watching